I have an experiment I want to try. I was talking to someone the other day about what they should get, which device. That's a lot of a lot of the questions I get is, should I get an HX Stomp or the XL or should I just go Helix? And I'm always like, well, it depends on what you want to do. One of the cool things about the Helix is is the amount of the amount of ins and outs and what that means for how many people can use a Helix at the same time. So, what I'm going to do is hook this up and see how many people could a whole band use one Helix. Let's find out. All right, so how many people are going to be in our band? Well, first we need an electric player, the most important, uh, acoustic player, keys player, and bass. There we go. I don't even know if this is possible. I didn't even think this through yet. It might not be. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure I have seen that you can slide down and make four different inputs but I don't know if it's actually going to work or when we will run out of DSP. So this is all, all part of the experiment. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the electric signal path because that's the most important thing is the electric guitar. I don't care what anybody says, the whole band can go away, but the electric guitar needs to be there. Okay, I'm kinda, I'm kinda joking, but let's put in electric guitar. Let's put in a compressor and now we need an amp and cab for guitar. Let's do the deluxe and we can mess with this stuff later to dial it in if we want to. And now we need like delay and reverb, obviously. Stereo reverb, the hall is, is the best. Grab a delay, transistor tape. All right, let's save what we have so I don't lose anything. Okay, now we need to bring something down on uh, this stereo parallel path right here. So I'm just gonna grab something and let's go grab something that an acoustic guitar would want. Maybe a preamp the mic preamp, the studio pre. And what we're going to do is bring this down to this path right here. And what we're going to do is go to this block right here and also bring this down. Use joystick to move the split. Okay. Oh, there it is. Boom. So now we have this up here at the front and they may just want a little bit of reverb. Let's do the dynamic ambience. And we're also going to go to this split block and move it down, going out a different output. All right, that looks great. Now, what else did we need? We needed, a oh, bass. Let's, let's do bass. Bass needs compression, for sure. And then let's get let's grab a bass amp, amp and cab. I love the SVT stuff. We could dial that in later. And then keyboard, keyboard effects. Well, we just want some effects, like some reverb. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna put some reverb and then drag it down on another block. And it's keys, so we want stereo for sure. Dynamic hall, action, bring that down. Well, now we need to bring this down. Now here, input, none. We need to select an input. How do we do that? Oh, right here. So I can say that this is return one, and this is return two. And we want these coming out four different. So this is going multi out, multi out, multi out, multi out. So is there a way to choose? Send one and two. What do we have on the back here? Now I know this isn't the full helix, but we have guitar in, and then we have two returns, two sends. So basically this is another instrument, another instrument, and two sends. We also have a quarter inch out, we only have three ends, so will this even work? I don't know if it's gonna work, because you gotta put two instruments in. Maybe we can find a workaround. All right, I had to think way too hard to figure this out with the gear that I had in my room, but right here. Piano going into Ableton, coming out of the Helix. And I will say I'm limited by my interfaces. I only have two ins and two outs with the Focusrite 2i2, even though I have four instruments. But as you can see, I'm coming out of the laptop going into the Helix. I can't, it, it comes out no matter what I do. So like the USB bypasses all my ins and outs. I can turn everything off and it's still coming out. And so what I did is in order to have independent volume is I MIDI mapped the volume knob And there seems to be plenty of volume, so that could be adjusted there. Then I have my bass, it's all wireless stuff here, going through the bass channel. Boom, right here. Nice sustain. Then I have my electric going in the guitar in, being fed only through the electric. You can see how that has a delay to it. But there you go four different instruments through one helix, all going to my Focusrite right over here. Maybe we should record a little song. Let's do it. 
So there you have it. It works, kind of. I mean, is it perfect? No, it's not. But if you spend some time with it, maybe you can make it work. I guess the question is, would you do this? Uh, I have the Helix Helix LT. I know the full Helix wouldn't be the issue that I've had here because it's got like a lot more ins and outs. But the question would be for you at your ministry or maybe even your youth ministry, maybe somewhere where there's not a lot of budget, but you have multiple musicians who want access to effects like this, would this be something you might would do? Let me know down in the comments if it's a solution that would solve a problem that maybe you're having. I know that people have asked me a lot, hey, can you run more than one instrument? You sure can. We ran four today. Maybe three is probably a better option so you don't have to use the USB. But either way, we, and we didn't run out of DSP either. You know, we were still able to run reverb and delay and compression on multiple tracks. Anyways, let me know down in the comments if you would ever do this. I know some other people run their vocals through it. The bigger Helix actually has a mic in, so that's another option. To stay true stereo, you could run keyboard and electric guitar through this, not worry about bass or acoustic. There's a lot you could do. Hopefully it just sparks some creativity for you. Hey, real quick, if you have a Helix like this or the full Helix or even the HX Stomp, HX Effects, or even the pod go i have a free gift for you it's called my tone secrets guide it's a a free pdf download the the step-by-step -step instructions on how to get good tone every time my gift to you click the link below go grab it and i'll see you in the next video bye